that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. In his mind. Read. Verse 29. No, that's it. That's it. Who got 531 32? Yeah. Verse 31. It hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. Right, you give her a writing of divorce, read. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, cause of her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her, that is divorced, committed adultery. Right, whosoever, it says it again. Whosoever marry her, that is divorced, commit adultery. Commit adultery. We got the Matthews 19? No, yeah. Get that. It says it again. 527, 28. If you touch her that is divorced, commit adultery. 532, commit adultery. Matthews. No, let times of all get that. Read that. Matthews 19 and 1. And it came to pass that when Yahweh Shah had finished these sayings, he departed from Galilee. And came into the coast of Judea behind Jordan. Okay. And a great multitude followed him. Right. He was doing his miracles and healing. People wanted the word read. And he healed them there. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Is it lawful for a man of what? To put away his wife read. for every cause? For every cause, read. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read? That which, that he, it's like, that he which made them at, at the beginning made them male and female. Read. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife. Read. And they twine shall be one flesh. You become a family. What's hers is yours. Everything, what you do affects her. What she do affects you. Read. Wherefore, they are no more twine, but one flesh. Read. What therefore the Most High have joined together? What therefore what? What therefore the Most High have joined together? Read. Let not man put asunder. Jeffrey Iverson ass nigga. With no crossover. <laughs> Finish that. Right. Verse 7. They say unto him, Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement and to put her away? Read. He said unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered you to put away your wives. He was being wicked, unfair, doing wickedness. So he came with what? A, uh, divorcement. Writing a divorcement. Writing a divorcement, read. But from the beginning. But it, from the beginning, what? It was not so. It was not so. Read. And I say unto you. And he said unto them, read. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Whosoever shall put away his wife. I'm not dealing with you. Read. Except it be for fornication. Look, she ain't committed adultery. She not messing around on you. Don't get it twisted. If your wife being wicked and separating you from your howashad and breaking your spirit, you can put her away also. You can put her away also. Because the Lord said, whoever lose a wife for my sake, I will give him a hundredfold. So you can lose a lord. Like my ex-girl, I loved her to death. Loved her to death. But, bitch was a demon. So I had to separate myself from her. And I didn't even do it. I loved her so much, I clinged unto her all the time. But the Lord pulled me away from her. And when he pulled me away, I never had the spirit to return to her. But whoever put away his wife, read. And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another. And shall marry another. I'm going to this woman. Read. Committed adultery. So y'all niggas that put away y'all wives and she never cheated on you, or, or cheated on you, slept around on you, was dealing with other men on you, and left with other men, according to the law. And you put her away, leave her out the dry, you do what? Committed adultery. You committed adultery. And the only other reason for that is she breaking your spirit based off of the Lord. And you feel as though she doing so much to you that you're going to go back in the world and lose your spirit. You cut her off. If your right hand offend you, you do cut what? it off. Cut it off. Right? 
But the Lord also said, what? Because you got niggas out here that do that. This bitch ain't right. Blah, 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 blah. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't dealing with you no more. And go with somebody. I got a new girl. Fuck out of here. If you do that, you do what? Committed adultery. Y'all niggas adulterers, man. You adulterers. You adulterers. Yeah. What is best to do? Let her put you away. Yeah. Let her walk out. Yeah. But the blood won't be on your hands. Read. And whosoever, it's locked. And whoso marrieth her, which is put away, do have commit adultery. Oh my God, Jeffrey Iverson. Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, one thing that we we not gonna stand for is you you know you trying to dip out or or not take accountability for your shit. So I know what you gonna come with. You gonna say which one of y'all wives is a virgin, right? Mm -hmm. Man, hey, listen. Before before we come in this truth, a lot of us do some bullshit. You know, we wife and women that had slept with other men when they was in the world. But this gonna cut the shit out of you, nigga. Second uh, Corinthians five and seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, you know Yahweh Shah. Basically, when you come in the truth, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So, right. so that's that clean slate. Right. So when a woman come in the truth, a man, woman, whatever, the scriptures specify man, but we we know how the Lord do. He, he used a man as an example. You know what I'm saying? Man coming the truth, woman coming the truth, everything they did, all the bullshit they did before, you know, most high wink that your time of ignorance, right? right? Now, you know what I'm saying, when a woman coming the truth, this woman that you dealing with with from Cali, she came in the truth um through really not even through the brother from GMS. She was in the truth from um Nate, uh what's his name? Um, Israel United in Christ. She first came in the truth through them, then she was dealing with the, the, the brother from GMS. And then she was dealing with you. Oh, she slept with a dude from uh, Nate? No, no. I, I, well, put it this way. I have no knowledge of her dealing with a dude with Nate, but somebody from Nate's school. Man, she, yo, she a hoe, man. She a hoe. Where is going, yo? Your yeah. wife is a hoe, man. Straight up, according to the scripts, nothing personal. It's a bar. Your wife and Callie is a smut, yo. According to the scripts, and we're going to prove that. And we're going to prove that. Give me 1 Corinthians 14.33. Give me Sirach, give me Sirach 9 and 9, and give me, y'all sign, give me Sirach 41, 22. You got that? Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion. For the white, the, the most high, not the author of confusion. That's why you had all that confusion going on in your camp. Read. But of peace. As in all churches of the saints. As in peace, as in all churches of the saints. That's why you have all that confusion going on in your camp. Because you let the woman run free. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Right. For it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are committed, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saves the law. Right. So your woman keeps silent. What's who's the church? Israel. But well, what part of Israel? The men. The men. The men. So a woman is not to speak in the presence of what? Men. Men. That's what it's saying. Read it again. It's simple. For give me uh Revelations 21 and 3. 1 through 3. She's not supposed to be on that bull, that pulpit. Read. They ain't got that nothing to fuck the pulpit. She's supposed to shut up in a seat. Read. Let your women keep silence in the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience to who? To men. To men. What man? Men of the Lord. Her husband. Right. Her husband. That's the man. <laughs> Read it again. I pulled that up. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Who's the church? Men. Men. Prove that. 21 and 3. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God. The is, tabernacle is another word for church. The tabernacle of God, read, is with men. It's with men. When you even see the movie 300, and they was talking as men, and the woman interrupted them, the Edomite woman. He said, Who gives this woman permission to talk in the midst of men? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Huh? That's how it was in the ancient world. 
And that's how we're gonna do it over here. Read it again, man. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Who's the church? Men. The presence of men. It ain't talking about this shit. Read. For well, it is not permitted unto them to speak. In the presence of who? Men. And men, read. But they are commanded to be under obedience. They're supposed to obey who? Men. They own men. Read. As also saith the law. Yeah, you went to. I thought, oh, the law's done away with. The law's, the law's done away with. You Yashawan disciples. You <laughs> <laughs> Yashawan niggas. The law's oh, you got all that script. Yeah. Please go ahead. Listen. Listen. What you got? Nine and nine. The rock nine and nine. Read. It says, uh, this is Sirach 99. Read. Sit not at all. At what? Oh, sit not what? Sit not at all. It's about being a big brother. I'm being a big brother to her. Come over my house. I'm going to talk to you about this brother. The Lord said what? Sit not at all. Sit not what? Sit not at all. I want to hang out with her. I want to joke around with her. I want to have, I want to rejoice. You went to the store. We was talking. This and that. She said, why go to the store taking a fuck with you? The Lord said what? Sit not at all. The Lord said what? Sit not at all. The two words, the two main words is what? At all. At all. What? At, sit not at all with another man's wife. I ain't got Ooh. shit to do with that. That's fine no. right there. Because the Lord said what? Sit not at all. With another man's wife. Look, we knew his brother for a year and some change. We never even me. seen his wife. We don't even know what she looked like. His wife is like an invisible woman that stretched him out. <laughs> you That's a new name. No, if I do see your wife, if she, cl if she close enough to me, I, I would say hi. That's it. I ain't going away from across the field. Read. It says, Sirach 99, sit not at all with another man's wife, Read. nor sit down with her in thy arms. In thy arms, Sabah, what is Shaquat doing wrong? You want to talk to me about your man? He offer that shit too. He on sit not at the scripture said, and, uh, and spend not thy money with her at the wine. Mm. He, bought a, he bought brothers' wives the holy days, right? Yeah. Don't holy days got one? Yeah. Read. Especially they have holy days. <laughs> Least thou heart incline unto her. Least the bot heart do what? Incline unto her. This ways to stop adultery. Yeah, I like that. You start talking to her, start chilling with her, and your heart do what? Incline unto her. Read. And so through thy desire, thou fall into destruction. Because what's a man's desire for a woman? Sex. Sex. Drinking and wine. You sleep with that. And you sleep with another man's wife, that's adultery, and if the punishment is what? Death. Death. And not fall into what? Destruction. Destruction. Because once you sleep with another man's wife, you're going to want to blow your fucking head off. Hell yeah. That's yeah. it. Can we yeah. this out real quick? Go ahead. All right. This is uh, Precept, Sirach 36 and 24. Right. He that get it for wife, beginneth a possession. That's your property. Read. A help like unto himself. Read. A pillar of rest. A pillar of rest. Mm. That's it. No, That's so your property. Yeah. Read. Get that. 4122. Read that. The outside. 21. 21. My bad. 21 to 22. It says, To rock. 41 and 21. Right. And to turn away thy face from thy kinsmen, or to take away a portion or a gift, or to gaze upon another man's wife. Or to what? Gaze upon another man's wife. That's what Zabak doing. He had to gaze upon her before he pushed up. You mean to tell me this man don't know what he's looking at? Yo, this nigga probably went on the the, the, the situation with the Ephraim white brother. He probably went all on her pictures on Facebook, Facebook mm -hmm. and was like, oh. he probably was gazing. Yeah. I'm jealous of that nigga. He yeah. said that. For the sake, I'm jealous of that nigga. He must know what she carrying. Yeah. yeah. How she look? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you gotta know she, she has to attract that ass. Oh, she look good or something. I wish, yeah. she, I wish she leave him. I wish she leave him. I'm that's jealous not. of that nigga. That's wicked though, man. Yeah. Read it. That's wicked, man. And to turn away thy face from thy kinsmen, or to take away a portion or a gift, 
or to gaze upon another man's wife. Or to gaze upon another man's wife. 